Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the beautiful weather outside. I know Marley and I have been going on many walks and spending a lot of time outside and I hope you guys have too. So here's a picture of Marley laying on the kitchen floor and a picture of me and Marley going on our walk yesterday. And now we're up to a mile walking. So in two weeks, that's a lot of accomplishment. So I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys have been going on walks too. So today we are going to reflect on the things happening around us by using the words I felt and I thought. Also, quick side note, I have quotes on some of my slides, so if you wanna read those and um, promote some positivity, um, because during this pandemic, that is very important, feel free to do so. So the first reflective writing piece I'm gonna read is about the pandemic. I felt scared walking in the grocery store with everyone wearing masks. I hear doctors and the president telling scary stories of cases in Nebraska. Many American people are dying. I thought to myself, am I going to get COVID? It may be hard to see, but it is important to always try and look at the positives of every situation. This pandemic has taught me even more how beautiful nature is. We will see the end of the tunnel soon. So in all reflective writing pieces, we have some commonalities or common word phrases. And the two that we're focused on today are I thought and I felt. So we see I felt right here. And we see I thought right here. So when we're writing, Reflective writing, we want to try and use the words I felt and I thought in our writing to show how we feel. So now I'm going to read another piece of reflective writing, and this time it's about Marley. So here we go. Today was the best day. I received a new best friend. Although she was not my ideal dog, as I wanted a running buddy, Marley walked into my house. My heart hurt, as she was 162 pounds. I felt so bad for her, she could hardly walk. How could anyone let their dog get this obese? I noticed how hard it was for her to walk, and that she had such a sad face. I thought to myself, I need to make this dog happy again. My mom and I knew right away we wanted to help her, so we decided to foster her within five minutes. After nine days, I have already become very close with Marley, and she follows me everywhere. So now, I want you to pause the video and think to yourself, where are my two phrases, and what are they? See if you can locate them, and when you've found them, resume the video, and we will go over them. I'm sure you found the two phrases, I felt and I thought. When we are using reflective writing, we always want to try to use I felt and I thought in our writing. So now it's your turn. So what I want you to do is get out your writer's notebook and then resume the video. So we are going to write for 10 minutes. So I want you to also have a timer out and we're gonna time ourselves for 10 minutes. You can write about anything that you please, your day, your favorite part of the day, how a test went, or anything else you wanna write about. While you're writing, I encourage you to try to incorporate the phrases I felt and I thought into your writing. After you're done writing, resume the video. Today, we learned about reflective writing and how we can use the phrase I thought and I felt to reflect on things we wanna write about. I challenge you to look at your writing after you write and see if you use the common reflective phrases, 
I felt, and I thought. My last thing I want you to do is send me an email, and my email is listed here on the slide, and write me a reflection, five sentences, reflecting on what you did yesterday, trying to use the phrases I thought and I felt in your writing. And I miss you guys so much, and I'm so excited to see you again soon. And Marley is very excited to meet you as well. Have a good rest of your week.